Next is probably the story of how fate entered my life. Um, I started gymnastics when I was six years old at a little gym called Jim and I in Houston, Texas. And shortly after I started gymnastics, these two that everyone knows, Marta and Bella Crowley, decided to buy the gym that I was happened to be at. I didn't know who they were. I couldn't understand their English. I remember having an exhibition and sitting on the floor with my friends and like little snotty kids going, what are we doing here? I don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> but obviously fate had something to do with that and I'm so thankful that that happened to be the story. Over the years, I have learned more than I can possibly explain. You all know who these two people are from what the media is and what they, what they say of them, but I will tell you that there are no two people that have a greater passion, have a greater leadership ability, and absolute intuition to, I feel like, help athletes to, to become their best and to know what is the right move. I'm so thankful for that, absolutely. down at um, the Crowley's Ranch and my husband and I heard a gunshot go off and so we got in the car quickly and drove down to the lake and uh, found Bella out there by himself and he quickly suited me up with a gun. I had never held one before in my life and um, started trap shooting for the first time in my life and I just went to the craziest place um, and again just being so thankful. He immediately got into it, put your elbow here, slide it out and pull up, put your chin down, and I was in heaven. I was like, being close to get by Bella. But it doesn't go away. I was nicknamed the president of the Pumpkin Federation growing up. That was my first leadership role, and I thank them for giving me that task. <laughs> I remember um, in times that I would have struggles in the gym and I was not a hard-headed teenager, I'm sure that my memory of that is wrong, but on times when I was not doing, doing everything that was going towards my goals, I know Bella would sit me down and he would say, and I feel like with honesty, I would stand on my head for you until the Olympics are over if I could help you to see what opportunities you have in front of you. I'm so thankful that you kept showing me the light every day through the ups and through the downs that your attendance here means more than you will ever know. Sincerely, I 